Hey guys, I'm DID Choi, and today I am parting with my trusty AT2020. I had it for almost three years now, it's my first condenser microphone supplementing my SM58. I made countless videos, songs, covers, a bunch of projects with this mic, so I am really sad to part with it. Now in that short video you guys just watched, you guys saw what would be replacing this for me. The mic will be finding a good home, it's actually going to someone who I knew at music school. He is a teacher now, so the mic will be put to good use as I will use the NT1A. So you never really understand what a single mic sounds like if that's the only mic you have. The best way to know is to compare it with others. When I first got this, I knew it had a lot more detail in the higher frequencies compared to my SM58. So depending on what I was doing, I would choose accordingly. Even if you listen to and watch comparisons of microphones on YouTube, it's never quite the same as trying it out for yourself and seeing how the polar pattern feels as you move around and how the sound changes as you shift your tone. But I thought, okay, today is the last day I have this microphone before it gets sent off, so might as well make a comparison with the Rode NT1A so I can get a better idea of the differences and also let you guys in on it while I'm at it. So let's do a little blind test. I hope YouTube's compression doesn't kill the sound too much, but here we go. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor falls, the major lifts The baffled king composing, alleluia
Could you tell which was which? I can tell you that the 802020 definitely had more higher mid frequencies, but on some kinds of voices, it could sound a little brittle without any EQ, while the NT1A felt flatter and warmer to my ear. But the real difference, which you probably couldn't really pick up on YouTube, is the noise floor. So let's check that out. Okay, so we're gonna look at a couple of the examples in Isotope RX to see the noise floors of each microphone. Okay, so here we are in Isotope RX, and this is the AT2020 playing the guitar. Let's see if you can hear some of it. Yep. And I also have the NT1A playing the guitar. Okay, now we can compare the noise floor of each by kind of looking at the quiet sections and see what information has been captured in those sections. I think a good way to look at it is to look at this section here. Now these are little bumps, so ignore those, but if you just imagine that this is just a huge bed of sound, when we look at the same thing in the NT1A, you can see that this part is actually pretty empty apart from those little bumps of sound that I pr accidentally produced. If you just look at the audio here, it's basically a black void, while on the AT2020, you can see all of this little grain. So that was the AT2020 and the NT1A. Okay, now let's look at the winds. Here we have a mono file of the clarinet that I played. So let's take a look at the noise here. Here's a nice little empty spot. Let's compare. Wow, yeah. So you can see that there's quite a bit of information here. While in the NT1A, it is almost black. There's a tiny bits of noise here and there. So if I bring out spectral denoise right here and learn this, basically what happened is Idotope learned this noise profile and it took the little profile in here so that if I go through and press render with a little bit of time, we can see that that noise is gone from the whole recording. Now there's still noise in between here and that would be probably me blowing air through the instrument rather than uh, noise, white noise picked up by the microphone. Now, this is the shape of the AT2020. Let's check it out for the same spot in the road. So if I were to learn this profile, let's take a look at the comparison before and after. Yeah, so it looks like the road picks up a lot more low and rumble, which maybe means it just has more low frequency information. I believe both microphones go down to 20 Hertz. And this stuff is really easy to take care of because most of the clarinet playing is going to be above like 160 hertz or so. So I can just take a high pass filter and kill all of this stuff while this kind of noise can be dealt with in isotope. So let me go ahead and apply this 
noise reduction to the whole recording and let's take a look. So you can see it really cleaned up the bottom end just like the AT2020. Now one thing I'm noticing that is advantageous in the AT2020 is it looks like there's a few more partials that are detailly captured versus the NT1A, which kind of has a bit more of a roll off at the top. It is cleaner, which is nice, but you can see that all of these partials are a lot quieter and less pronounced than they are in the AT2020. However, the AT2020 also has a little bit more noise at the top level, so I'm not sure which one is going to be more advantageous. And lastly, moving on to some of the voice examples, we can compare just by going back and forth again. You can see a lot more information in this uh, 15K region. And also in this 9 to 10K region, you can see the amount of orange. Orange means louder, blue is quiet, and black is nothing. This can obviously be tamed. Sometimes having more than you need is going to be a lot easier when you're EQing stuff than not having enough information. But again, you can check out the difference in noise here by flipping through the two. This is a lot more noisy with the little blue specks, while here it's a lot more of a deeper black. Now that would be because the NT1A by Rode is advertised to be the quietest microphone on earth or something like that, and they are really boasting their low noise signal to noise ratio capabilities. The AT2020 is a bit of a more entry-level mic. For most people listening, they won't really know the difference. And if they can get close enough to the microphone and if they have good preamps, the noise shouldn't be too much of an issue. So Isotope RX is really interesting to compare these two signals. And you can see exactly where the differences are in the two microphones. Now I found in the comparisons that the AT2020, while it does have a little bit of a more brittle and more sibilant character, for my voice it actually sounded pretty nice, there's a lot of clarity in it, and the brittleness wasn't too much. On the guitars though, I could notice the brittleness a lot more with the pick sound. You can hear the flipping of the pick itself against the strings compared to the NT1A. Similarly, on the clarinet, the AT2020 seemed to pick up the key noises a lot more, which for my context, maybe I don't really want. While on the tin whistle, with a nice high frequency range, you could, there was a lot more detail captured, I think. Now, because of the noise floor issues, though, if you were to denoise the AT2020, a lot of the time you're going to lose some of that high frequency content because it's just too quiet compared to the inherent noise so a lot of it will get cancelled out as well. While the NT1A, you almost will never have to use any noise reduction at all. Anyways, you've heard my opinions, you've heard the examples for yourself, I don't know how well it would have translated on YouTube, so I hope it helped. Both microphones are really awesome, you know. The AT2020 was an awesome entry-level mic for me, and moving on to the NT1A, I can feel a little more warmth and a lot quieter of a noise floor in the road, but that's also because my ears are a lot more sensitive than they used to be when I was starting out with mixing. So as your ears and your skill level progresses, maybe you'll be able to tell a lot more differences and you can be more picky with your mic choice depending on your subject. But maybe right now you just need a simple mic. So the AD2020 is a really awesome choice. I'm really sad that I had to give it away, but I'm also really happy that I now have the NT1A, which I think suits my voice and my style of recording a little better. Anyways, you heard the examples. A or B, which one did you prefer? And do you know which one was which? Leave a comment below. I hope the video helped you. Leave a like to let me know that it did and that you liked the video. For more content, subscribe and ring the notification bell. This has been DoD Choi, and I'll see you in the next one.